day 57 of the quarantine i to eat my own beard <laughs> ew that's fucking gross <laughs> no but the freaking uh, seriously dude like like a week and a half of quarantine feels like an entire fucking eternity oh my god man <laughs> you just sounded like one of those uh the intro to one of jaco willink's uh podcast episodes you know <laughs> really really <laughs> but yeah you know where he's uh, where he's staring at the paper and he just starts reading in that low voice <laughs> that low you know? low jocko willink voice yeah and it's like really intense you know <laughs> dude <laughs> i want you to like, know jocko willink is like the spirit of the united states he's like the united states uncle sam's spirit animal is is what jocko willink <laughs> is Man, wow. the, yeah, the guy, the guy's legit, man. Jack man. Willink, hell yeah, dude, he's, he's a fucking badass. Yeah. Um, so Navy SEAL and shit. Yeah. Yeah, I know, man. Fucking American sniper. But um, dude, there's like, there's very few people that are that actually come out like come out of the military, did something like practical, right, and then then goes into acting. I think that's like a very unique set of set of people that can do that like that, that was like a thing before right i think it was a uh, what's his name fucking uh I, I can't i can't remember there was there was a guy uh not not ron swanson that's fucking uh it's fucking from parks and rec uh, adam driver like, no was he too was he military yeah, what well? yeah i think he was a marine oh shit i didn't know that um interesting um i was thinking yeah. of uh <laughs> no. <laughs> great was it Bronson? What the fuck was his first name? Uh, Charles Bronson? Maybe, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the, he, he was a badass, too. Uh, if I remember he correctly, he was military. And then, um, yeah, Charles Bronson, yeah. He was a World War II, II, II vet. And then he went into acting later on. Uh, okay. I think uh, Sir Christopher Lee, I think that was his name. The guy that uh-huh. played Count Tuku in Star Wars. Uh-huh. Was he also a vet? Yeah. Yeah, I think he mm. was uh, World War Two. yeah. Mm. Interesting. Uh, that's because they get your act together, if you know what I mean. Ooh. When, you go, when you join the military. Ha 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 ha, it's so funny, so funny. Okay, um, <laughs> so yeah, let's talk about what we've been doing. You know, obviously we haven't been, uh, you know, uh, like shooting guns at people or, Not or anything. Yet. You know, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, we haven't been in the military. At least I haven't. My dad, my dad was a vet. Um, my dad is a vet. Sorry, um, and respect, <laughs> respect, big respect. He's a mm-hmm. he's a computer nerd, but uh, yeah. <laughs> so let's see. <laughs> he's gonna he's gonna be listening to this too, so <laughs> it'll be kind of funny. He'll be like, he'll be like, hey, fuck you, man. <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> crazy. But uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah. So let's see. Um. So we've been quarantined for ten or eleven days, and the military has apparently been moving uh or sorry like i think it's like local i'm not sure exactly uh what government uh force but it was like uh my 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 friend's boss saw military trucks quote-unquote military trucks they could have been like just like swat swat teams you know or like some police force shit but uh that, that is a bit unnerving because there's you know, absolutely no guns or any sort of way to fight back over here. So it's just kind of like, ah, well, I guess uh, we're at the mercy of the fucking government now. That's really great, you know. And and so far, despite that being the case, we have yet to be Epsteined. So I think that uh, <laughs> I think that you know, like that's that's, that's a positive, right? You know, that could happen later on, but we've yet to be Epsteined so far. So, uh, but I'm still on Hillary Patrol. I'll, I'll say that much. And and regret as as a, <laughs> as a as a weird way to put it, but <clears throat> anyways. Yeah, you yeah. guys are 
Uh, you guys, you guys really care about uh, Second Amendment, huh? Yeah, I like, mean, uh, you I know, <laughs> you, you guys, you guys get jumpy when you when you start seeing a lot of uh, a lot of uh, government uh, action in terms of employing military and stuff inside the, your own country. <laughs> you know, it's, and that's a good good point you raise. And you know how. Uh, I mean, it's fair. It's fair. Like, uh -huh. it it is it, it is a possibility. Oh, absolutely! Uh, it's, a, it's a possibility. And, and here, here's here's the thing. I think is that the U.S. has always been on the opposing side to any totalitarian regime, um, while mm -hmm. the U.S. has had any sort of like military power, right? And so, as a result of that, it's just like we've been like staunchly staunchly and very strongly against any sort of totalitarian um like any sort of regime that would cause some sort of totalitarian terror and as a result of that like the only way to topple tyrants is to be able to kill a tyrant right so i think and that, that's 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 pretty much um the the reason for having guns now you know you have a lot of like anti-gun arguments where it's like but what think about the children it's like yeah i, I get what you're saying but at the same time it's like you know, um, like for example, in Japan, I don't think that you know, like, t like I don't think that uh, you should have to have guns in Japan because Japan's kind of an inherently fucking peaceful place for the most part. You know, so you, I don't think that right. Japan really needs that. But I do think that a lot of the world peace that that kind of lets Japan not have to worry about like mobilizing a very uh, strong military through the government is because well the U.S. kind of protects Japan, right? And well, and quite frankly, mm -hmm. the, the U.S. is kind of a balancing force. And you can debate whether that's good or bad, but it is a balancing force to the world. So I think that the U.S. in order to keep being a balancing force would need to have the Second Amendment uh, laws and 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 the Second Amendment in in place so that it can kind of like be. Like if, if other places are taken over by totalitarian um, you know, rulers, then that could be the one place where that does not happen. You know? Right, and, right. And people can fight back. Exactly, exactly. So the thing is like there will never – I don't think that um, the US, uh, as long as it is the United States of America – will ever be a totalitarian ruled country for that reason. I think, I think be, because, of, because of that, um, I don't think that you can – I don't think that seizing power is going to be something that you have to worry about here. And as a result of that, other countries uh, around the world, um, I, I think can like it, they a lot of them can kind of afford to experiment with like not having guns um, and like ban guns and stuff over over in other countries because like if something bad happens then. Uh, like Papa U.S. is kind of there to step in, I suppose. Now right. that, that could be kind of like a false assessment, but. Um, but I think that for here specifically, it's a good thing just because it's also kind of cultural too. Um, right, right. Yeah. It's been, it's been a staple of the country for, for a long, long time now. <laughs> yeah, very much so. Very much so. But I also, again, um, in Japan, not necessary. In the US, totally necessary. Um, and it's, it's just cultural, I think. But uh, right. yeah, I mean that's that's an interesting. We started off with Second Amendment, um, and then uh, so yeah, let's talk <laughs> yeah. about what we were, what we've been doing, just like with the coronavirus. Like, uh, okay, so I'll, yeah, I'll start we, we definitely. Uh -huh, go ahead. <laughs> no, I was just gonna say we definitely been haven't been shooting people or, uh, or anything. <laughs> you know, <laughs> just trying to stay home, right? Well, I mean, yeah. go ahead. What, what what have you been up to these uh, uh, last few days? Well, I haven't, you know, I I have been preparing for the, the zombie apocalypse. I've been making some Molotov cocktails and some actual cocktails, you know, <laughs> and, you know, just kidding. I, I'm not making weapons of mass destruction, Mr. Government. Um, just the cocktails. Because <laughs> I, I know, I know fucking, fucking Hillary's listening to me right now. She's going to fucking Ooh. Epstein me. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but, um, no, on a serious note, though, um... 
on a serious note, like what I've been doing is I've been learning how to code a little bit because um, that's a skill set I have right now. So I've been working on Python, trying to learn how to make just basic apps, basic programs, um, which would be, I think, helpful for my future. Um, hell, dude. Like if I like I'm going to keep going with this for a little while and see if we can make something cool with Broke Homies. I mean, if we can get people like listening to to broke homies i don't know like maybe if there's enough people doing stuff with broke homies and we're providing value then it's like oh shit well this is something that you know people there's a lot of attention here how can we help more people and we could uh i don't know i could probably code up something and um you know make something out of broke homies and give more value to people which would be cool as fuck right. so the python thing is kind of there's a motivation behind it with broke homies um i think um the most the the coolest thing would be like if if like you know if we did like a i don't know like like if we if we did like a like a couple of classes or something maybe not classes be that it sounds like we're like teachers or something but kind of like a like a how like a couple of how to tutorials um right and and mm-hmm. like a small curriculum you know like uh like a loose curriculum or something on how to do like how to start your own podcast um or you know in your case like if it was you specifically you could do like a ui ux or like a how to be an editor for a newspaper or magazine something like that you know and then i could do like yeah, a, yeah, yeah. like a salesperson or something you know just like some some useful things that people can see and kind of uh learn a little bit from um, right a uh, few tips and tricks trying mm-hmm. to impart our knowledge uh, to whoever whoever's getting started on those things, yeah, I think I think that's great, man. Mm-hmm. Uh, Python, uh, that's crazy. Are you right now? You're focused on Python. Are you specifically? Yeah. Gonna are you gonna try other languages, other programming, coding um, languages in the future? So, I mean, have you, have it, you considered it? At, oh yeah, absolutely. At, by I've any chance. It. I mean, because the thing is, I've considered it because I had to pick what language I was going to go with, right? And, like, here's here's kind of, like, the logic that I had towards, you know, like, like why, as to why I picked Python specifically. Um, and it's because I think for, if you're primarily a businessman, right, and, like, what you do is business, right? Like, I do I do sales, right? Uh, well, I guess I'm not doing sales right now, but that's, that's what I do as a profession. Um, right. I think um, at, you know if you if you work as a businessman like Python is a, a language that people use for data a lot of times. It's a very data oriented right? like a, like, it's, like it's it's utilized for data right and so, so like is management. SQL yeah or like data management or like an, like analyzing data um, it's. Right. And it's it's also not a super hard language to learn. It's like, um, you know, it's 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 something that you can pick up pretty quickly. Um, so, just kind of though, like the factor of being able to do it easily. And you know, it's like if I learn a language, uh, learn like a like a programming language, and like learn how to use it. Well, that's like, like once I learn one, it's kind of like, well, I have the confidence that like, oh shit, like I could I can learn another one. You know. I think that um, people that don't have like a uh, like a lot of people that try to like self learn or like self teach themselves um, programming, a lot of times I mm-hmm. think uh, they give up because like they they don't get results early on enough and they get like discouraged. And so I was like, okay, well, um, I don't want to say that I won't get discouraged, right? So I thought like the like the the best thing that I could do is kind of recognize that you know if i don't get results early on i could get discouraged and i could quit so i wanted to pick uh a language that i could actually learn how to use um and like quickly so that i get right. like results quickly and then like if i like if i get if i learn how to use python quite well then it's like okay well i learned how to do python by myself so why can't i learn how to do c plus plus or um or I don't know, like or, or, yeah, JavaScript. Java, JavaScript. Uh, if I'm gonna, you know, like make uh, web pages or something like that, you know. Um, although I think, you know, it's it's like, well, like why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't I be able to learn those languages? And I think that was kind of the logic behind why I cho- chose Python specifically. Plus, okay. um, in in the past, 
Um, I actually got like a small like online certificate in Python already. So I already had like um, a little bit of prior experience with Python. Like it was just like a fundamentals class. Right. Right. Okay. So now you're building on that. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, that's great, man. That's great. Uh, yeah. Coding is definitely like very sought after. Definitely. The programming, programming, knowing some programming, mm -hmm. really sought after uh, knowledge. Right. Uh, it's it's a very useful skill set. I also think that the the way that you think um, when you when you do code something um, is also important, right? Because there's there's a, a specific um, logical progression of thought or way you organize your thoughts, like true, like if it's true, false, uh, in what order and, uh, does this equal this? And there's, there's a very method, uh, like a methodological, methodological, uh, methodic, methodical. Yeah, method, yeah. There's a very methodical way of, of, of going about it. And there's like a specific order that uh, allows a statement to be true or not true uh, for something to work or not to work. And it's, it's very defined, right? So the thing is, right. I, I do think that learning how to uh, pro, like code something, regardless of, of what you learn how to do, uh, is useful, if not for like making something, right? Um, at least for the, uh, the ability and the patience to sit there and think through your thoughts um, even if you're not coding, if that makes sense. Uh, it, it's kind of right. like having, having the patience and like the logical, uh, like, like being used to the logical wrestling uh, in your own head mm -hmm. uh, through, mm -hmm. through coding, I think. Yeah. Um, the now, trying to anticipate also, errors and, and uh, all that. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like just recognize errors in, in, in like a statement that you're making. Uh, now, when it comes to like data and stuff, like I think that, um, I was talking about this in, with Andoni yesterday and I confirmed it like I, and I confirmed it with him, but yeah, I think, uh, if I learned how to use Python and then, uh, learn how to use SQL, then I could do a lot with databases, which is, uh, you know, like maybe like that won't be like a career for me, but, uh, if I'm working as like, let's say like a, like a, like a business manager or something, right? Like some, some somewhere, um, you know, like, kind of like some, somewhere in management, um, I could, you know, if, if there are no, if there is no infrastructure for the company uh, in terms of data or like how to get data, then I could fucking write the code. I could, I could like, if you have a database and it's like, I could, I could get the insights that you need for you. Maybe they won't, you know, I won't, I probably wouldn't perform as well as any, you know, like data analyst or even a business analyst, right? But um, I think that being able to do that being able to, even if I don't ever do it, would be something useful um, to get into a company later on too. So right. I think yeah. I think for for that reason, like this is kind of my logic with it is that um, you know, like I can't really do like it's. I, I won't say I can't, but the thing is, I don't think it would be efficient to do sales right now or try to try to sell shit right now, right? Like I could, I could, I guess I could like pick up the phone and start like cold calling people. Uh, saying like, Hey, you want to buy this premium credit card, uh, you know, and whatever. And then like get like a, like a referral fee or something from that. Right. I could totally do that. But one, it's kind of douchey. Uh, and then two, it's like, what, like, who's going to buy it? Like, who's going to sign up for a credit card right now? You know, like, yeah, who's going to buy something right now? Exactly. Nobody. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. It's, I, I think, I think what you're doing is, is very, very much in line with, uh, with w what I'm doing in in the sense that mm -hmm. uh, yeah, talk about that. Talk about that. I, like I'm I'm done with, with that. I really I, I, I'm just saying, like it, like looking at the big picture, it's it it's it's maybe a time to step back and try to find uh, something that we don't usually consider to do because we don't have time for it because we are uh, with, our, with other stuff 
you know, other priorities. You know, I think while when you were doing sales, uh, you probably didn't have any time left for Python, even if you wanted to, right? I mean, yeah. or or at mm -hmm. Or you, it, you would be in a state uh -huh. of like, uh, man, like you, you spent all day doing sales uh, and yeah, then yeah, you yeah. go pick up a programming, you know, it's like, man, my mind is not, it's not ready for like uh, trying to learn how to code the database uh -huh. right now, you know. It's, right, right, right. But, or at least but now it, wasn't the, it wasn't the best, best choice back then. Right, right, yeah, exactly, exactly. But now, now, like it's like the tables uh, have turned, and uh, if if then it was uh, the time for doing sales and uh, leave Python aside, uh, now is the other way around. So it's the time to uh, attack uh, Python programming and uh, maybe uh, leave the sales for when this is all over. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I think I think that's correct. Um, I mean, because like I, I was, you know, like whenever I get back from work, like I would I would work on stuff then too. But I was working on sales whenever I got back too. So I would get back home from work and I would start reading um, a book on how to sell shit better, right? Or right. Uh, I'll learn and, about and like, sales tips on YouTube. Right, and 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 that's and that's uh, totally. Uh, it, it makes perfect sense because. That's the kind of the skill that you you need to sh to be sharpening as you are not only as you are doing but outside of uh, work hours. You know, like every every little thing that you can do to uh, improve on that. You know, uh, to to come to come back uh, the next day and you know uh, try out this this thing this new technique that you learn the day before this new method, uh, try, you know, experiment a little maybe, uh, or uh, any of that. But yeah, like you were, you were doing sales, obviously you were going to uh, spend more time in uh, trying to uh, understand uh, a little better the, the whole sales thing, not... Mm -hmm. Yeah, the uh, entire sales process, um, sales techniques and things like that, you know. Um, yeah, yeah, which, which it's, right. yeah, so yeah, uh, man, I, but, but I think, yeah, like, like now's the time to maybe, you know, not totally forget about that reality, obviously, but uh, step back and maybe focus on something else that you can profit from in the future, especially if it's related to uh, what you were doing earlier, which is sales. Uh, definitely, and definitely. as you said, like Python is the thing. Uh, Python and, if possible, SQL. Mm -hmm. uh, but, yeah, it's, which yeah. I'll think about later. Like th that'll be like just something that I just you know, like I I first want to get get Python down. Which I, I don't know if you'd agree with me on this. Like I'll, I'll ask you this. Um, a little bit of backstory. Before, uh, whenever I was I was trying to learn things and better myself. Like whenever, like, you know, like I would try to like learn a new skill or something. Uh, I wouldn't pick one skill. I pick like 10, right? And the thing is like, I stretched mm -hmm. myself so thin among the 10 things that I wanted to learn that, uh, I would, I, I just never learned anything. I, as a matter of fact, I don't even, how is it even possible to even learn how to speak Spanish in the first place? I'm like, I always wonder that. It's like, fuck, <laughs> dude, I had like, I had like, like, why, why didn't like, why did I try to like pick up like 10, 15 fucking things at once? Like, why didn't I just choose one? You know, and that's my thing right now is like, it's like, yeah, like, well, like I'm thinking about what I'm going to do after I learn how to, you know, like code in Python, right? Like, or, or I say to right. learn how to code in Python, but the thing is like, um, you know, to be able to write myself like, like an easy program, like I think that would be like a good, good threshold. It's like, okay, well, like I can write myself something uh, without having to Google too much. Um, you know, and ask for too, like, you know, get too much help from, from other people on the internet. Right. Like if I don't have to call, call one of my friends and like ask him what the problem is and I can just like get it off of, get like the answer to the, to the question off of Google without copying too much code either. You know, <laughs> I mean like, I guess like, right. you know, if, if there's something like, um, it, like the point is like, if I, if I can basically, 
make something without uh, like by myself. I think that's like a good point where I could start looking at uh, working on a different skill. But I do think mm-hmm. that picking one thing and then like getting that down, kind of like you know, like whenever um, like if you're let's say like a like a like a country that wants to like conquer other countries, right? Fucking yeah! Look at the Japanese guy talking about that. Um, hey. hey. I'm from cool Portuguese guy, no less. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Brazil, but I'm just kidding. Uh, anyways, anyways, anyways. Um, the, the point is, like, um, whenever, like, let's say you're, like, like, like Nazi Germany or something, right? And you, you conquer a territory. You, know, you conquer a territory. You make sure that you have that, that, that territory that you conquer completely bunk, like, hunkered down and right. uh, mm-hmm. non-resistant, right? Like you want to make sure that like there's like that, that is a solid stronghold for you first, right? And right. before you and, go on to conquer the, the ones uh, surrounding it. Right, 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 exactly. And the thing is, because the thing is, if you don't like, if you don't like hunker down that first, um, you know, the first territory that you, that you conquer, well, while you like mobilize like 80% of your army from like in that territory to go conquer a different territory. Well, the fucking resistance force that's, that's there in that other city is going to like reconquer. Yeah. You know, reconquer you're, go- you're going to lose it. Yeah. It's going to turn exactly. on. Exactly. Exactly. The whole point is you're going to lose it. You're not like, you're not going to get the territory. And then, um, now it's like, you're, you're kind of scrambling between like, okay, well, do I go and, uh, work on, like, do I devote, like, troops to this territory and then, like, uh, abandon this other territory that I'm trying to conquer and now you have to make decisions and it's more difficult, right? Well, that's that's pretty much, um, I think, if if troops were time, that's more, and then, like, the countries were uh, competencies, I think that's kind of more or less how it would work, where it's mm-hmm. like, if you devote a specific amount of time and you make sure that you have this down, then it's like, that, that, is going to be something that like y- you won't lose that and, and the same like you won't lose that territory uh much the same way you won't lose the skill that you're trying to to learn you know because i mean realistically like over the course of time like um if you devote you know four months to a skill right now right and then you devote mm-hmm. And then you get that down pretty well. And then you devote four, the next four months to a different skill. Okay, you get that well pretty, down pretty well. Then you devote like four more months to a different skill. Well, it's like that's a year, but you learn how to do three, like three skills reasonably well. And, but imagine if like you're, wor- you're working on three things for the course of 12, 12 years. Like it's, it'll seem like for fucking forever. You know, like imagine if like you had like not semester long classes in college, but you had like, like, a fucking like year long class. That sounds horrendous. Right. It's like you're like this class is never gonna end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like um, a year long class on uh, I don't know, like the book of uh, Joshua. <laughs> you know, oh yeah, like, like, you went to uh, Christian university. See. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, like yeah, just like pouring an uh, enormous amount of time into like a, a really particular subject uh, like y- you'd probably become the expert on that you know like like the the expert not an expert but uh at the same time it's like um, mm-hmm. Do, do do you stop there? Do you where do you go from there? You know, like uh, and is it worth it? You know, to do that over uh, the, the the way you're saying, like like the traditional way, basically, where you have more classes and the right, right, right. You know, like if you if you went by kind of like blocks, I think master's classes are are more like this, if I'm not mistaken. But they have like shorter, shorter um, like semesters, which I don't think they'd be semesters anymore. But whatever, you get you get what I mean. Right. It's like terms, but yeah, right? it, like yeah. shorter terms where you you have few, fewer classes, and the classes you you take them um, quicker, almost like every day. <laughs> right, right, exactly. Like that's the idea is that like you you take classes and you do more 
of one thing uh, over the course of uh, a lesser amount of time. So the thing is, mm-hmm. you don't cover multiple topics at once. You cover one topic for a very short amount of time. It's like it's like a short sprint. It's like a short sprint, and then right. like, you're done. You know? Um, yeah. It's compressed. Yeah. Right, right. And I think that um, for like just for the sake of of getting a skill down, and Donny likes to call call this mastery, which is a good word for it, I think. But um. But it's basically like it's getting down, getting a skill down. Um, over like you 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 take time like a short amount of time and like concentrate as much much like like try to give the skill that you're learning as much time as possible during like a short amount of time because then you don't get bored with it, right? Like you want to make sure that like like you, you want to like space yourself out so you don't burn out, but at the same time like you you don't want to space yourself out too much where you like you kind of just like lose the will to do it. Um, right. and feel like it's going to take forever because it's just like, like, I don't know about you, but like whenever like you learn other languages, like if you like, like just not, not programming languages, but like speaking, like speech, like actual language languages, right? Um, if you can't speak or like say anything in that language after like six months of studying, wouldn't you just fucking quit? Uh, yeah. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, yeah, like then there's... There's no point. Like uh, by that time, you've lost uh, the motivation to keep doing, like because you find yourself still going uh, through the basic uh, steps, the the, right. uh, the compliments, the you know, the good mm-hmm. morning, good afternoon, Como blah, estas, blah blah blah. Yeah. You know, like, things yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. It's like if, if you can't use <laughs> it, ask like, me. If, if oh, yes, me. <laughs> yeah, like if you have no practical application for it. Um, you know, then you're just going to get fucking bored of it. Right. Whereas like, like if I, like, if I, like, if I do, uh, like go, go on with this Python, like thing long enough. Right. Then, you know, after like the, by the time this quarantine is over, I'm sure, I'm sure I could do a bit, like quite a bit with, with the language, as long as I'm putting like six to eight hours in every, every day. Right. Or I guess it's six days a week uh-huh. I'm, I'm doing that. But like if I if I do that, then it's like by the end of this fucking quarantine, which might take like three or four months, let's say, right? For example, it takes four months, let's say. Well, fucking by the end of it, like I've put in what? Like let's say on average seven, um, you know, seven hours a day uh, and then six days a week. So that's what? Like 42 hours a week. Um, so 42 hours a week. And then that's like six like let's say 17 weeks right so it's like 42 times 17 what's what's, what's what the fuck is that 40 42 times 17 that's, that's 714 Four, five, hours wow it's fucking 714, 714 hours that you dedicate to a skill like like um so for me to to learn a skill uh it it's is it's more difficult to me because it takes like I, I need to focus on it and I, I get like distracted really easily so what i generally right. do you know and because i get distracted easily and you know i, I you know I, I do whatever things it takes a little bit longer so let's assume that a, t- a, a 25 hour class like a 25 hour class uh it takes me um let's say 50 hours to do right or Maybe it could even be because I'm just using that time more to like not actually just do the class, but try to learn from my mistakes while I'm um, while I'm like programming the class, right? Yeah, yeah. And you're gonna be watching things over again, you know, like mm-hmm. you didn't get the first time. Like, yeah, that's right. That's the drill. <laughs> and that's that's exactly right. It's like it's it's kind of how it's gonna go. So um, let's say I I spend 50 hours on a class. Well, if I spend 50 hours on a class and I take, uh, and then there's 714 hours that I'm, that I'm working on this, then I could take 14 classes in Python, but like during this time frame, if I keep it up for four months, imagine 14 classes, 14 classes in Python. Now I, right. I wouldn't recommend mm-hmm. like doing 14 classes, right? Let's say like it takes you th- like 30 hours to write an application, right? Like on average or something like that. So now it's like you, you've taken, let's say like you take you take seven classes, so it's like 350, 350 hours, and then you devote like and then you write like 
it takes I said twenty hours, right? Or thirty hours, whatever. It's thirty hours. So yeah, yeah. Yeah, so like you have like another like ten, twelve applications that you can write after taking ten classes in Py- like five classes in Python. They say five, seven classes in Python. So it's like you know, like you you can budget that time. Yeah, yeah. There's so so much fucking time that you have to like learn this shit. So you have like a ridiculous amount of time. And here's the best part, dude. Is like after I'm done with it, like I feel good about myself, so I can walk over to my freezer, grab my big ass bottle of whiskey, pour myself a fucking shot or two, and just fucking chill and watch anime. You know, like I do that. Right, it's like, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't feel, feel I don't man. feel guilty. I don't feel guilty about it. I fucking I I did shit all day. You know, so I I, I feel fine about that. No, I I definitely feel you, man. Cause uh, yeah, like I, I'm on the same boat concerning uh, uh, UI UX mm-hmm. design. Uh, like right now, I'm just uh, doing small projects that uh, really. You know, small projects that are not um, overly similar to one another, mm-hmm. uh, and that you, you know, it's like uh, quick uh, reinforcement. You, because you feel like you said, you feel accomplished uh, after after you're done with it. You know, it's like yeah, you made it. You know, it's a good feeling. Uh, yeah, 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 and it's. Uh, you know, since since uh, it's uh, this is not uh, exactly um, something I've been working uh, with for ages. You know, like I, I'm doing these smaller projects where you know you you get you get the, the that feeling uh, more easily. You know, uh, you you don't have to you don't spend like days or weeks um uh, you know trudging through the same project file you know uh trying to uh, trying to make, make things uh happen um and and without having the the sense of reward you know mm-hmm. the, the the that positive reinforcement that kind of pushes you to to go on and do more like I, th- I feel like right now it's 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 better to uh, do this smaller project uh, like you in Python you know do this uh, this one course mm-hmm. you know and and from there move on to bigger ones because like you you, you do the course the course has I, I don't know how many uh, videos or classes or whatever no, but yeah. you do it uh-huh. and uh, and and you do it and and then it's like you said you you feel good about yourself and uh, you kind of uh, celebrate <laughs> sort of but not not really but like you know you pour yourself a glass and smoke a cigarette whatever uh, yeah whatever yeah it's uh, and you just you you feel motivated to to come back the next day and do more instead of like one long project man I'm at, you know like with the biblion with the magazine and stuff mm-hmm. it's always like long ass uh, projects and you know it feels good once it's done once once it's uh, out there it's a very but delayed it, delayed uh, gratification yeah, man, it's yeah, it's it's a lot of it's a lot of preparation and, and stuff. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's 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 good and bad, but it, I feel like. Um, I mean, I you, have you, kind you, of a a thought for that. Is I think that if it's something that requires delayed gratification, like Biblion is is a little bit, you know, it's like you you kind of needed to delay the gratification because that's not something that's going to happen overnight, right? No, no, but, yeah, def- definitely. Uh-huh. But you need but you need like, to have that uh-huh. reinforcement, you know. Oh, um, like the reward, more, like more people often. kind of feel like a reward or something, like a uh, or like the yeah, feeling like of accomplishment, just, like you like you've accomplished something. You feel kind of better with yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The completion, the mm. the the uh, the finish. You, you, you know, the checking it, it off your list, the crossing it off the list feeling. Right, right, exactly, exactly, and the, which enables you to move on to uh, another project, a fresh, another fresh start 
It's I'll tell you of, what, man. I'll tell you yeah. what, man. Fucking crossing, crossing like mammoth tasks off my list, like better than better than sex, better than sex, better than, <laughs> than, the, than the morning cigarette, better than <laughs> that first sip of coffee. Fucking just, just better. It's just, it's just fucking. But, it's just good. It's just, it's the best fucking it, feeling it, it, in the it world. Is, it, it's, it's, yeah, man. It's awesome. Like when you, when you go out for uh, so many. Uh, weeks uh-huh. uh, or or months even, and uh, you finally get it done. Uh, you finish it, and it just wow. you you feel it's like a, a world of possibilities uh, suddenly opens up for you, and and now it, it's like like a, a free rider, just. A, uh, trying to choose what's what's the next what's the next destination what's the next what's the route that you're gonna take and yeah man I think for the purpose of learning of uh, of uh, deepening our our skill set and our knowledge of uh, for me for UI UI UX uh, mm-hmm. I think these smaller projects and gradual they w- they won't always be small obviously like gradually they'll become bigger more complex more right, challenging right. that is the that's that's the idea it's just mm-hmm. it's better to do this way incrementally uh be- making them more more challenging mm-hmm. uh, than s- to start ultra challenging and try to ease off uh, afterwards, uh, right, right, like, right. Like, like too, too challenging at the beginning, and it's, it's like you said, it's going, it's going to be the, the, the language that you've been spending six months, uh, in and out learning, but uh, at the end of the six months, you, all you know is the basic stuff, and you don't, you no longer have the motivation mm-hmm. to keep going to right, right. to learn. Right, right, right. Uh, and here, here's the other thing is like, I, I do want to also make a distinction. Like, and that's a good point is that like, um, like, uh, it's, it's, it's making sure that you, uh, like, like you, that, that you get something out of, uh, the time that you're putting into it, right? Like if you, if you devote six months to Spanish, but you don't get anything out of it, it's like, well, perhaps you should have spent more time, um, like per day, like working on that or, or whatever, right? But, um, I think with, um, with, um, when it comes to learn, I want to make a distinction between like learning skills and, uh, like accomplishing something, right? Like, I guess like learning skills is is accomplishing something, but like when it specifically, when it comes to learning skills, like once you have something down, then it's, then you have it down, right? Like it's like. Uh, like for example, like I, I learned Spanish. So the thing is, I'm never going to forget Spanish. Like I, I, I don't foresee myself ever forgetting how to speak that language, but that's because I'm like, I, I'm, I'm practically, I'm, I'm, I'm able to like practically do something with Spanish. Um, whereas right now, like I can't practically do anything with Python. So if I stop learning how to write anything, like stop learning how to, to write, like do like write python right then i'm never Mm. i'm i'm never gonna learn like it's not gonna be a retained skill it's like all the time that i'm devoting to learning how to do this is going to be essentially wasted because it will leave my memory right but Mm, right if i get to a point where i am practically able to make something um with python then i won't forget it and then it's kind of like um, I, I think I could relax a little bit. Like, I don't, I don't want to say relax, but like, I don't have to be as tough on myself about like, I have to fucking get this down now, 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 now I can, I can, uh, right. I can like devote my sense of urgency to something else because it's like, it's no longer as urgent. Like it's urgent for me right now because I don't have the skill set down yet. So I have to make sure to consolidate that skill set and make sure that I can use it before I lose interest in the skill set, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So it's like it's like yeah, trying it's, to to it's like trying to beat my ADHD with time with like speed. <laughs> yeah, you know? it's like oh, scroll. Yeah. It's like before that that comes. Like I, I want to make sure that I learn that. 
Um, <laughs> the squirrel. <laughs> it's like, ooh, squirrel, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, from, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Um, I, I think I, I deal uh, a little bit with the same things. Like, you, you kind of feel pressure to learn uh, as fast as as you can and when uh, when you're confronted with the uh, with errors with the uh, lack of you know maybe you lack the fundamentals you know you kind of overlook that part and uh, then you gotta go back uh, a few steps and you know that that can be really problematic if you're trying to learn a skill is like if you whether whether you were thinking about it or inadvertently uh, overlooked steps and uh, things and now uh, your work is is suffering from uh, having overlooked those those steps but uh yeah we, we cannot be so so hard on ourselves you know at least at this stage uh in terms of in in terms of uh oh, you know uh, of uh, holding too high of expectations that you know we're going to learn this in no time and uh, everything oh, is going to be gotcha, gotcha, gotcha gonna go just fine uh, you know it's we have to in our minds prepare ourselves you know mistakes will be made Fucking have some <laughs> you know, humility uh, <laughs> have some yeah, humility yeah exactly you know it's exactly. like it's like you're, yeah. you're not you're not like you're not a fucking ditto from pokemon right like you're not gonna <laughs> just be able to like shape ditto. shift yourself into like whatever the fuck you want and like learn a skill right it's like dude it's like exactly. it's like like i don't know like I think that um, being able to get Python down reasonably well after three to four months of like six to eight hours a day, I still think that's pretty optimistic. Um, that's that's a pretty optimistic uh, way to look at it, right? But I, don't know, I think a lot of people that like begin like like learning something, it's like they're like, yeah, like I'm gonna I'm gonna give an hour a day for a couple like a couple weeks and see if I can learn it. It's like no, it doesn't work that way. It does not work that like you cannot learn a skill like that. It's like, it's like, it, it, like unless like you're trying to learn something, like it's 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 some it's hard to learn something that's like really worthwhile. Like doing like what like an hour a day for like fucking four months. It's like what are you trying to learn how to do? Wash dishes? Like yeah. It's like I guess you could learn how to wash dishes well if you do like like an hour you know like an hour a day for four months. You know, but like right. But uh, it's, yeah, it's it's hard to to. To put a deadline on learning, on learning the skill. Mm, that's, that's very you true. Know? There's you, also you gotta... like sub skills and like other other exactly. other like mini skills inside of the the big skill too. You know, yeah, I think so. one like, like uh, I mean like a if you're, if you're just starting, you know, like it's it's hard to gauge. Uh, maybe once you're more. Uh, more of advanced, uh, you know, and those sub skills, maybe, maybe then you can have an idea, uh, f also like from your past experience and everything, to know like how long is it gonna take for me to get it down and stuff, you know. But uh, mm -hmm. if you're if you're fresh into it, it's like uh, uh, it depends a lot of the uh, how much commit how committed you are. Mm -hmm. and uh, how available you Ooh. are you bring up a very very good point by the way uh yeah because because the thing is like actually you brought up like two or three good points right there like one is um know yourself and your your study habits which that's that's know really thyself. fucking imp that's super fucking important uh and then two the other thing that you brought up was um uh what, what was it um so what was the second thing that you said? Uh, it was fuck, fuck, um, in terms of uh, commitment and availability. Yeah, commitment, commitment, commitment. Yeah, yeah. So it's like a like making a proper commitment to something and uh, thinking through why proper. this is useful. A pro yeah, pro pro proper. You know, but the thing is like, uh, and I'll explain. Like, I, I want to like kind of give my opinion on that because I 
completely agree with you. Like those two things are super fucking important. But um, mm-hmm. it's like if you don't know your study habits, then you you don't know um, how what what the best way to learn is. And for mm-hmm. me, it's like like I have uh, again I have a pretty pretty short attention span, so I do know that for me, um, what really motivates me is having a goal, right? Having like like I want to get this done today. Or I want to get that done today. And like before I even start the task at hand, I'm just kind of like, I set that goal and then uh, I go and I achieve that goal. And it's like, and then, you, then you ask yourself, like, it's like, okay, well, what do you get if you achieve that goal? And for me, it's, well, Tyler, like if you fucking finish this module and the, like, then, then after you're done with this module, you can go have that, that, that whiskey in the, the freezer uh, with, and fucking watch some anime. And so I'm like, Fucking down. Right, yeah. I'm right. Like, it's, yeah. it's like you, you kind of bargain with yourself. It's like, are you willing to do this? And are you willing to do that? That's, that's a Jordan Petersonism, by the way. Uh, where it's right. like you, you start to have kind of like a bargain where it's like, well, do you really think that you would do this? And if the answer, like if you honestly ask yourself that question and the answer is yes, like, yeah, I, I think I would be willing to do that. Uh, not instead of like, instead of um, do you, like, do you want to be able to do that? That's a, that's a whole different question, right? It's will you will you actually do that? Because if not, then mm-hmm. it's like you can lower your standard just a little bit, and you would achieve more by lowering the standard for what you're able to do to fit uh, what you're capable of doing at that very moment. Like for me, like I don't know, like I'm not one of the, I'm not like super introvert. I'm super extroverted. I'm like super ADHD. So when, whenever like people walk in, like I w- always want to have a conversation. So for me, like learning right. stuff, like I always have to allocate more time if I'm like learning stuff via the computer, right? So for me it's like i i take that into account and that's why i devote like so much time a day to doing this is because uh otherwise i just i won't learn how to do it i won't get it get it in my head and it's just like i i've made study habits that are very very centered around what i'm what what i who i am as a person and kind of like the, the way that i react to stimulus and um and the way i study and stuff now the commitment thing that you're talking about is super important because then you like even before you before you even start studying how to do something like studying a skill you have to ask yourself why should i learn the skill right yeah in the first place yeah 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 right and the thing is like you know like uh there's a reason why like people with like if, if you have a girlfriend and they speak um a different language it's like there's a reason why a lot of people end up learning uh, a different language whenever uh, they have like a girlfriend or like a boyfriend that speaks that language. The reason why is because you're committed to being able to communicate with your significant other, which is a very great goal, right? And there's a lot of motivation behind that. There's a lot of, and the thing is like you already made a commitment to her. So the thing is like the learning is just an additional commitment on top of the, the big commitment that you made. Right, I'm saying right. her because of you know it's me, whatever gender, whatever. But uh, but um, <laughs> you know, but the thing is, like, you've made a big commitment already, so you're making a smaller sub commitment as you know, uh, as kind of like a way to enhance the relationship that you have. So there's plenty of motivation behind that. Um, with me, like for example, in the past, I've 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 like been like I'm gonna. I'm going to learn how to be a great basketball player. But the thing is, dude, I didn't like basketball that much. Like, I mean, like, I, I like basketball, but the thing is, like, I, I didn't have a, like, like basketball enough to to where, like, I could learn how to, you know, fucking, you know, I, I wasn't going to be putting in sprints and fucking, like, uh, right, yeah. trying to get hops <laughs> and everything, you know, like, try to, like, jump higher and things like that. Like, no, I wasn't doing that. Like, I, I wasn't that motivated to be a, a good basketball player. I just wanted to be able to play, like, like okay like street ball whenever i'm like fucking bored or some shit you know right right yeah so the thing is if if i'm not if i don't think that i'm motivated for that then it's just like you might as well just not do it like that's and that's there's a book that i read by uh fucking what was his name um peter godin uh peter godin no uh, not peter godin um the fuck was his name seth godin uh, his name, last name is Godin, right? It's like Spanish, but right. Seth is his first name. He's an American marketing guy. Um, the book was the hard thing about hard things. I think no, no, no that's 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 a, no, that's a different title. It's a very famous book, but um, uh, it's like I think it was like why you should quit or some shit like that. Um, but it. Ooh. 
Um, what the fuck? Why you should quit? What was it? Uh, the dip. The dip is what it's called. Uh, I believe. I, I think it was the dip. And yeah, it's, it's called the dip. Uh, it's a super, super useful book where he talks about like uh, when you should quit something and when you should persevere something. Um, and it's a super useful book. It's a super useful book. As, as a matter of fact, like if you were here, I would let you borrow it because I have it. Uh, it's a super easy read, by the way. I read it in one day. Uh, it, it was like maybe nice. like an 80, 90, 80, 90 page book. So it's like, it's super short. So I just read it in like a day. Um, I just sat there and just kind of like just poured through it. Um, nice, nice. Yeah, it's, it's a very good book. Um, it's a simple... Simple, useful concept explained in a very simple, short book. Mm -hmm. So, um, but yeah, like, yeah, I went on a rampage. Having, <laughs> no, 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 but uh, I, think, I think you raise a great point, which is having, which is the, off of your point, by the way, it is off of your point. I want yeah, to, to, to give you credit first. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm guessing that uh, with that book. The idea is, you it it, you, 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 it kind of has to click on you that this is something that I want to do and devote time to, and that has a utility for me in the future. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, that's that's my guess. It's because you you think of all you think of all like the. The people who who accomplished who were acom accomplished at some skill at some sport like Kobe, you know, the, the guy was obsessed with basketball. So, mm -hmm. like, it, it, it does take a little more than just uh, this is something I feel like doing right now. But uh, who knows? You know, it, it it takes a little bit of a uh, of a uh, of of devotion. Uh, to to it to the to the craft to the sport to absolutely it takes the skill extreme devotion but yeah 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 exactly so um i'm not i'm not calling for people to be to become uh obsessed uh, individuals just find something that you know uh really connects with you and you feel like it's something that you be able to use in the future in a healthy way in a profitable way <laughs> preferably in a way mostly i think it's yeah like yeah helpful a lot of people i think is, is i mean at least that's that's what i think is like or if not helpful to other people at least helpful for yourself right at exactly yeah yeah, yeah. no yeah yeah it's you gotta you gotta feel fulfilled with it you know mm -hmm. absolutely it's, it, it's gotta it's gotta click with you and uh, uh now is the right time to dedicate yourself to something like this like uh with this whole pandemic going on like you gotta stay home uh okay so maybe maybe you can't go swimming and you really wanted to do swimming you know, but, uh, there's, there's other things like, like work around that. Like what else is it that, that is something that you can see yourself, uh, doing that you haven't been able to, you know, like, uh, mm -hmm. learn a language, learn an instrument, learn, uh, and you're talking about kind of like during, during this time, not specifically, but it's like kind of prompted by like the time that we have right now, huh? Exactly. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah. Like, you and I, we're both trying to find ways to um, fill the this mm -hmm. this uh, this time that we have. Uh, we, or like, what is know, the opportunity? Like, because the thing is, like, this coronavirus quarantine is like we've there's been some things taken away from us, right? Like the opportunity to make money and other other things of that nature, right? Uh, yeah, which is unfortunate, okay. but. There's also an opportunity, which is like that we have an immense amount of time. And it's like, okay, well, what can mm -hmm. we use the time for, right? Like, yeah, start asking that question where it's like, what's, what's the best thing that I could do with this time right now? What is the most mm -hmm. productive? What is the most useful thing? What is the best usage of my time? You start thinking about that. And 
it's important to spend some time thinking about that and then coming to a conclusion and then executing and acting upon that, right? Absolutely. Like and make sure you think about and, it. And you know, uh, it's, I think it's going to be different for different people. Uh, the situation is, is definitely not the same across the, the map, but, uh, well, absolutely. For, for a lot of people, this is a time for profit. <laughs> For, for profit. For profit. Like, because the thing is, for example, like, dude, if you own a grocery store, this is, fuck, this is the best time for you, dude. Like, I mean, like, there's a little bit, I mean, like, there's, like, positives and negatives, right? Like, I mean, like, like you're kind of scared about, like, what's happening with the coronavirus thing, and there's, like, people coming in all the time, and, like, you're kind of, like, you know, afraid of the infection, like, spreading among your employees and things like that. But, dude, it's, like... People are freaked right. the fuck out with this virus, and there are people flocking to buy food right now. There's like people right, flocking right, yeah. To they're buy making food. they're making lines and shit mm -hmm. outside the the grocery store. So yeah, uh, right, for right. those people, now is the time to like drill. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, absolutely. And that, uh, that's that's a different situation from us, where it's like for us, it's like this is downtime for us. For that, for for now, it's like for them, it's uptime. You know, it's like like we're yeah. we're here like learning stuff, and they're there like executing and doing stuff because that's that's their it's it's their time right now to do that. Uh, and fucking not to mention medicine, dude. Oh my gosh, the respect that we have for the medical people in this fucking world right now. You know, and yeah, anyone yeah, yeah, working absolutely. as a nurse, doctor. Oh my goodness, dude. This is, I mean, th like for them, it's like. You know, like, please, please don't listen to my podcast right now. It's like, uh, you know, it's like, yeah, don't, like, don't drop, uh, the fucking, uh, what you're doing uh, at the hospital to, you know, yeah, just start, call uh, me instead and, 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 and you know, I'll, 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 I'll bake you cookies and I'll send you cookies. Like, who, who which doctor right. is listening yeah, yeah, to this yeah, podcast? Yeah. I will bake you cookies and I will send them to you. That is a good usage of my time. Fuck, fuck yeah, dude. I, I will bake cookies for a doctor right now or, or, an, absolutely. or a nurse. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, <laughs> like, the thing is, you know, like fucking working hard, and it's like the the like they're not getting the same opportunity that we are. You know, like for them, it's like like an opportunity to help people. I guess if if they really like helping people, like for us, it's like um, an opportunity to like. I mean, in in terms of the coronavirus, the opportunity that we really have is you know to learn to like better ourselves during this time, and also the and also like according to all the people that work in medicine right now that I've talked to or seen anything from stay the fuck home right it's like that that's that's yeah. the big one that i that i hear is like just stay the fuck home right just like if you like was it there's this one lady that was like uh if your child has like fucking coughs like just fucking give them some like like rub rub whiskey on their gums and just fucking put them to bed or some <laughs> shit like that you know like it, it, was, it was pretty funny I, I don't know i don't i don't remember what she said or like if your stomach hurts take a benadryl she's a really funny like really really funny lady but apparently she was a nurse and she was talking about like, like, don't be fucking coming to the hospital for this kind of stupid shit. And like, the opportunity we have there is to to gotcha. help them not help like medical staff not be overwhelmed by being a fucking idiot and going to the hospital um, because your because your toenails grown too long or something. You know, you know it's just like you know, <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, like, it's like. Uh, yeah, some people like they go to the hospital as if they were going to, uh, I don't know, fucking uh, fair, <laughs> you know. Hypochondriacs. Yeah, we should. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we should, we should. For real, like, oh my god. There are uh, people like I that. Feel, I feel. I feel a little like itchy in my throat. Man, I have pneumonia. It's like you feel itchy in the throat. Come here, fucking here. I got, I got, I got a couple tools. To close this, jump down, jump, like fucking, just put down your fucking throat so I can scratch the itch. Fuck you, you know. <laughs> but, but yeah, it's, it's, down there. Uh -huh. it's uh, well, it's it's rough for the other people, you know, who 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 are suffering, but not from coronavirus. But all the attention is going to coronavirus right now, so. They're screwed, <laughs> you know. Oh my gosh! Uh, they they're in a tough predicament right now. Cause, they're heroes. Uh, I mean, honestly, like people working in grocery stores. Andrew is working in a grocery store right now. He's a fucking hero, dude. He's fucking. Yeah. 
He's doing real shit right now. Um, yeah, yeah. He's, he, uh, the, he's helping. He's fucking helping people. People in medicine, also fucking heroes. Uh-huh. As a matter of fact, like, I, they're like they're like the fucking like like doctors and uh, like like uh, bio like bio like researchers right now. Like they're like trying to like look like come up with a vaccine. Fucking those are like they're basically revolutionaries in this fucking corona this war against uh this war against corona basically is essentially what it comes down to uh, absolutely absolutely you know? they're the they're the real mvps right now for real it's man I mean, and we're just like poor it, civilians like bystanders just yeah, like, just like kinda I mean, on the side it, you know? it, how many people like you and i we're we're actually taking time to you know Make make our time useful for us, you know. But mm-hmm. how, how many people are out there, uh, out there in their homes, uh, watching, binging on Netflix, and just wasting away their time? Uh, precious uh, time, you know. Very precious. Uh, while time. while the, all these people, the people in the groceries, people in in the hospitals, man, the, the doctors, the nurses, you know, they're like. Mm-hmm working uh extra hours you know they're, they're going around the clock you know trying to uh trying to uh deal with uh, all the all the cases that come up in the in their hospitals and their clinics uh, everything man it, yeah, yeah i mean the netflix it's, thing it's crazy it's oh. crazy you know that's that's uh, actually funny you mentioned that my dad was like um, he, you know, he messaged me and he was like, okay, well, because of this quarantine thing, uh, do you want to borrow my Netflix account? Is what my dad asked me. And I said, right. No. <laughs> and because <laughs> if I had that Netflix account, I would be tempted to be like fucking binging right. series and stuff. Yeah. It's yeah, like, dude, yeah, it's I like anime is bad it. enough, it's... man. Like fucking like, you know, like <laughs> fucking like, yeah. you know, like yeah, 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 I already exactly. binged this yeah. shit. So it's like. Um, I gotta keep myself from from doing that, dude. And um, and and uh, when it comes to first of all, I hope uh, medical personnel get some sort of fucking rest after this coronavirus thing is over. Like, I hope they give more downtime uh, to people after this virus thing. I really, I, I don't think that's gonna be the case, honestly, because there's gonna be a lot of people that flock into the hospitals like oh uh you know i really needed to get this uh thing looked at during the coronavirus but i didn't come out during the coronavirus which is fair right like you know okay you did your part by staying home Uh during the coronavirus but because of that there's gonna be a lot of people that needed like just essential things done uh like or like things that would like non-essential things during the coronavirus would be like essential things after the coronavirus right possibly um so the mm-hmm. thing is, like, those people are going to flock to the hospital. So I hope uh, our medical people don't get overwhelmed because of that. But um, well, there's already a, mm-hmm. oh, a and, bunch. Oh, and, and the other thing that I wanted to say was, you know, if you don't do something with your time right now, just to clarify, Danny and I aren't judging you. We're not saying that, like, oh, you're a yeah, fuck yeah. up and you're like this. What we're saying is we feel kind of at least what I'm saying is I feel kind of bad for you. Like you have this much time, right? And the thing is, if you don't do anything with your time and you're using it to just watch Netflix, which watching Netflix itself is fine. It's just, if you're using, if you're using all of your time to do that, it's then, then what your future is going to look like is basically what your future looks like now. It's, it's going to look the exact same in 30 years, but you're just going to have three kids and a significant other, you know, it's, it's going to look the fucking mm-hmm. same. If you if you don't work on it, so the thing is, it's it's kind of more out of like a sense of care, at least that I say this right. I think Danny kind of shares this too. Uh, it, it's more out of like if you don't do something right now, your life is gonna stay the exact same as it is at this moment. And if you're okay with that, then do that. But just know that if it stays the same, um, everything is or the, the the quality of it stays the same. Everything is subject to uh entropy or was it atropy is it right when it, uh, entropy where, entropy yeah you know so the thing is things are going to start start um 
wafting away from each other and things are going to get disorganized yeah. over the course of time. So the thing is like, uh, there is a, so if you don't do anything, then there's a better chance that things will get worse than things getting better, you know? And so, so, so this is kind of like a cautionary tale. Um, especially like, I, right. I don't know about you, but like Danny, but whenever I look at, uh, the, the people that really kind of, uh, confirm this idea that I have about like things won't change unless you like make it change is whenever I look at old people and talk to old people right uh, especially old mm. homeless people um, which I talked to quite a bit by the way I talked to a lot of homeless people I talked to a lot of uh, a lot of old people in general but um, what you really you see talk, you talk to a lot of people <laughs> I, talk to, I talk to a lot of people yeah exactly I'm very extroverted yeah but um, but Whenever I talk to uh, older people, I kind of see um, where they are, and then they'll tell me about like things that uh, they really like or things they enjoy, and occasionally they'll even tell me about things that they wanted or things that they weren't able to accomplish, right? But I can always see kind of where the opportunity was with that person, like, oh, if this person had just devoted, like, done this during this time, uh, instead of like goofing around and like going out and drinking and and partying, which I do, right, by the way, I, right. I party a lot. It's just I, I, I also study a lot. I, I work hard. Yeah, hard. like hey, that's what's up. But yeah, it's um, yeah, man. Like like now, now is the time where it, it, you're setting a precedent of sorts. You know, mm -hmm. like like this is a trial, and the way you. Uh, go about it will well it, it can have a very lasting effect in defining how you will act uh, the rest of your life you know how you face the rest of your life because uh, the idea like for some people if, if, if what you if you are looking for a, a fresh start you know clean slate we're gonna we're gonna take this time where everything is is coming to a stop and you know just uh, start from from scratch ground zero kind of thing you know uh, if if what you're gonna do is uh, uh, if, if, if you're gonna go about it without changing any habits, any mm -hmm. without looking for ways to uh, use your time more efficiently, use your energy more efficiently, um, you know, it's 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 gonna it's not gonna work basically. It's the 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 clean slate the start over it's it's not gonna have uh, any effect any positive effect uh, whatsoever i think uh, now is really the time for if you if you wanna really pursue uh something that you haven't been able to uh you you can do so and you but you have to do it with the kind of commitment that you will you you carry out uh, after this is all done like like right now you commit yourself to to a level that you 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 want to uphold for for the remainder of a uh, of your life, you know, mm -hmm. or after after this is all over, like this is not a, uh, oh, um, like have like, appropriately like it, high standards for yourself. Like you don't have to. It doesn't have to be like super yeah. super high, but appropriately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it it can't go away once once the, once the pandemic goes away. You know, it's like yeah, uh, like a, like a, you know, it's, it's you you gotta continue. Otherwise, it's for nothing, you know, the time that you spend is mm -hmm. for nothing. No, you gotta you gotta carry on with it. When yes. you go back to the, you know, t when life goes back to normal for the, most of us, and we 
get out of the house and and get back to 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 the usual uh -huh. the stuff to... Ooh. that's that's a good question actually uh, th there's a question that that I think is good to ask um ask yourself during this uh corona season right yeah and by the way like uh just to oh. clarify like for me like i think i think this is this is very valid for me you know mm -hmm. like i i really uh, feel like i need to to watch myself because this this mm -hmm. could be a this time could be an opportunity for like change a few things Absolutely, and uh yeah. Uh, and like establish that precedent that I, that I was saying earlier. Mm -hmm. So um, I think I'm not the only one in this position, but like for no. me, this this is really important. And uh, I just, I honestly, I hope I can uphold that that precedent after it's all over. But um, we we really need to, to consider right now, like. Mm -hmm. is, it is, this is, is what we're doing right now consistent with how we generally act or is it going to be consistent after um after like are, are we being uh are we having integrity um with our character and our actions during this coronavirus thing right like are we acting the way yeah. that danny would act normally but now that we're inside, now we're just adjusting. Uh, we're adjusting our own character to the situation, like our character and our In actions way, are consistent. Yeah. But like it's 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 not. We're not doing the same things, right? Because because of you know the situation. But we're doing uh, we're doing things that are consistent with our with our character and with our disposition, right? Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and that's, yeah, I think that's that, that, that consistent standard that, that you were talking about. Yeah. I, th I think, you know, it can go both ways. If you, if you're diligent, uh, right now it's, it's going to help you in the future be to be more diligent. Uh, yes. once you're faced with the, you know, the, uh -huh. the trials and right, the right. tribulations of the normal life. And if you let yourself go in this time, then, uh, it's gonna, you're gonna have your, to catch up after this. If, if you let yourself go, like, yeah, here's, uh, here's, here's the question. And you might not the, catch up the, and you might not catch up. And that's, it's absolutely correct. Um, uh, because it's fucking, you don't, don't play with that kind of stuff. It's like, don't let yourself go because you might, it might take you a very long time if ever to catch up. But, um, here, here's the question that, um, that I think is the most important. And this is, this is basically my parting, question is kind of like a closing thought okay. like for, for me at least when you come out of this coronavirus quarantine situation and life goes back to normal will you be better or worse than when it began ask yourself that question if you continue the actions that you're taking right now until the coronavirus is over, will you be better or worse than when you started? And if the answer is that you will be better and you're honest with yourself about it, continue what you're doing. And if the answer is no, well, then I think the answer, I think the, the, the fix for that is quite clear. Uh, fix yourself. Mm -hmm. And that's, that, that's my closing thought is ask yourself that question. Will you be better or worse after you're done with the coronavirus? quarantine no that, that's that's a great closing thought man yeah, that's that's, that's the very that's i think that's the very spirit of what we are going through right now mm -hmm. so like uh how how do how, how do i make this an opportunity to to make myself better and like yeah. come out better than mm -hmm. i than i was when this whole thing blew up blew up you know Mm -hmm. absolutely I mean that was it for me Sweet. do you have uh, any closing thoughts or no no anything? dude that that was perfect that was perfect I don't want to I don't want to spoil it <laughs> that, okay you never spoil it, it it's, but nah okay. bro it's terrific yeah cool so yep uh, as always thanks for coming and listening to the podcast uh, 
Danny and Tyler. You can find us on our social media at Brokelhomies, at B-R-O-K-L-A-H-O-M-I-E-S, Broke, L-A, homies. Um, and that's on our Instagram and our Facebook, too, so you can find us anywhere. Um, and yep, yep. Yeah, uh, and during this uh, pot, this uh, coronavirus pandemic, uh, we're looking at releasing an episode every week, so I think we're going to be recording on the weekend and then we'll be releasing on like a monday or a tuesday maybe a little bit later um you know but uh hold us accountable like if we're if we're slacking be like hey where's that new right. fucking podcast bro you know so yep, yep. Uh, message us fucking no, harass this, us this is this is part of the the whole thing the whole establishing the precedent thing like be to try to be more consistent and then that's largely on me too, like, man. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, hold us accountable. Like, um, it, it helps us, it helps us to know, like, that you guys are behind this and, uh, want, want to see more. Uh, that motivates us to do more as well. Absolutely. Cool. Danny? Uh, stay home and use your time wisely. All right. That's all. That's all I got. That's all I got. Hey, love, well, love it. Un- until until next week. Uh, absolutely, absolutely. All right. All right. See you, bros.